The number of casualties from a devastating landslide in the gold mining area of Bone Bolango, Garantolo, continues to rise. Triggered by heavy rainfall, the incident has claimed the lives of at least 11 individuals, with 17 more still missing. The victims were predominantly traditional miners and their families from Garantolo and North Sulawesi, who were caught under a deluge of rock material at the mining site. As of Monday morning, 11 fatalities have been confirmed, alongside five survivors. Search efforts are ongoing for the 17 individuals reported missing. The head of the Garantolo Search and Rescue, SAR, office, Harry Antu, stated, Among the deceased, eight bodies have been recovered and brought to the main command post, while efforts to retrieve the remaining three are underway at the landslide site. Over 200 personnel, comprising SAR teams, the Indonesian National Army and police, local government officials, and other agencies, are involved in the search, rescue, and evacuation operations. These efforts are being conducted amidst challenging conditions, including fluctuating weather patterns and compromised access routes due to damaged bridges. The main command post, located 23.75 kilometers from the landslide site, was chosen for its safety and strong communication infrastructure, noted Harry Antu. We are also awaiting updates on potential additional victims, as initial reports indicated numerous individuals were present at the location when the landslide occurred. The landslide disaster occurred in the early hours of Sunday in Talablo village, East Soa district, Bone Bolengo, as heavy rain fell in the area. The peak of the rain at around 1 a.m. local time caused the ground to move, resulting in a landslide at an illegal gold mining site. Chief Executive of Regional Disaster Management Agency, BPBD, Bone Bolengo, Acro Babiongo, reported that the team has been working on evacuating victims and vacating the area around the incident to prevent further casualties in case of subsequent landslides. It is estimated that between 5,000 and 7,000 people are in this illegal gold mining area. This illegal gold mine has been operating for decades and most of those who come to mine are people from outside the area. Our current focus is on rescue and evacuation, said Babiongo. In response to the disaster, the National Disaster Management Agency, BNPB, issued a press statement urging local authorities to prepare for anticipated weather changes. The Meteorology, Climatology, and Geophysics Agency, BMKG, has forecasted moderate to heavy rainfall accompanied by strong winds in Bone Bolango Regency and other parts of Garantolo Province on Monday and Tuesday. BNPB urged local authorities and communities to heighten preparedness in anticipation of further possible disasters. The tragedy highlights the dangers faced by traditional miners, who often work in hazardous conditions with little oversight or safety measures in place. The illegal nature of the mining operations adds another layer of complexity to the rescue efforts, as the lack of official records makes it difficult to determine the exact number of people present at the time of the landslide. The rescue teams are working tirelessly, using heavy machinery and manual labor to sift through the debris in hopes of finding more survivors. The fluctuating weather conditions pose a significant challenge, as heavy rains can trigger additional landslides, putting both the rescuers and any potential survivors at further risk. Authorities are also focusing on providing aid and support to the families of the victims. Temporary shelters have been set up for those who have lost their homes, and psychological support is being offered to help them cope with the trauma of the disaster. The community has come together in the wake of the tragedy, with local residents volunteering to assist in the rescue and recovery efforts. Donations of food, clothing, and other essential supplies are being collected to support the affected families. Despite the grim situation, there are stories of hope and resilience. Survivors have recounted their harrowing experiences of being trapped under the debris and their miraculous escapes. These stories serve as a reminder of the human spirit's strength in the face of adversity. The incident has sparked a broader conversation about the need for better regulation and safety measures in the mining industry, particularly in illegal operations. It underscores the importance of addressing the root causes of such tragedies to prevent them from happening in the future. As the search and rescue operations continue, the community remains hopeful that more survivors will be found. The authorities are committed to ensuring that all efforts are made to bring closure to the families of the missing and to support them in the difficult days ahead. Please let us know your thoughts on this tragic event in the comments below. 
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, 2230, for more detailed news coverage.